So Bruno safely through. No point on that one. Well, that's where he lost five points on his first round. That really just destroyed his round. Straightening up on lengthways on top of one of those tubes. Just got the wheel round a little too far and slid down. And <laughs> no coming back from that, I'm afraid. So coming round. The same sections, but in reverse direction this time. In the same order of the sections, just in a reverse direction. Ooh, ooh, oh, dear. Well, recovered nicely from that. This is clearly going to be a difficult get-up. It was an easy get-off. In relative terms, of course. Let's see what he can manage here. Good so far, the score staying at zero. Again, the young lady in the background carrying the score card around so that uh, the riders will know what the judges have decided. Just to reiterate, you lose points, or in fact, you <laughs> score points, I suppose, from a, a perfect score of zero all the way around. Every time you put a foot down, you lose a point up to a maximum of five when you are considered to have failed the section. If you come out of the section before the end, i.e. fall off, drop off or ride out, then you are given a maximum of five as well. And the rider with the least points is the winner. Dead straightforward, the rules. That's about the only thing about indoor trialling that is straightforward. The organisers try and design as fiendish a course as they possibly can. And quite sometimes how the competitors get round it is absolutely anybody's guess. The things these guys can do they really keep the crowd on the edge of their seat. So this is the first run in round two. Remind you, six competitors. Also starting, Kamatsu starting off this second leg. Languishing at the bottom of the points, but only in fact by one point from Graham Jarvis. So, a um, bit of a battle going on to avoid being last here. Now, those of you who are a little bit more astute than myself will have noticed that I've been talking about six competitors, and we only saw five going through the first round. Who we didn't see was Gregory Erez from France, the youngest competitor, 19 year old. We picks up the action with uh, Christophe Camozzi, the second of the riders through on leg one. And we didn't see Perez, but in fact he was in fourth place after round one on eight points. Hopefully then we'll get a chance to see him going well around uh, the second round. This is the one that causes all the problems, certainly did going the other way. Quite sure what the surface on these uh, slopes is. I have to say it does look worryingly like sheet steel or metal sheet of some kind because it is. It might as well be ice. Quite frankly, it is uh, dreadfully slippery, and this is really where we've seen everybody come to grief. One point so far for Komotsi, and coming out of the other side here will now be the difficulty. Going the other way around, this big V here was the problem. Not getting into it, you understand, but launching out the other side. Slightly more easy, perhaps, this way around, in that you are on your way out, and you've just got to get up over the top and hopefully land safely. Yes, and that was very neatly done indeed. One foot, so that's a total of two points there, but that was well controlled, and I think uh, Bruno Camozzi has really shown the way to go through there. So, mm -hmm. Well, not what the uh, young lady scoring was sh saying, because he had already got one up to this stage, and uh, I thought he had a foot down at the top there as well. However, graphics showing that he has one point. Red Bull Probatechnica. Graham Jarvis. Lumina Petra Graham Jarvis then lying fifth out of the six at the end of round one. Ten points was his total. 
So he needs to get two or less to stay ahead. Well, two will only tie with Bruno Camossi. No, in fact, two will keep him ahead of, uh, of uh, Bruno Camozzi. Mental arithmetic, I can't even add 10 and 2 tonight. So that's the mark he's looking for just to stay out of uh, well, what is last place at the moment. May not necessarily end up being that way. The others don't score so well. But certainly to stay ahead of Camozzi. 1.2 points or preferably a. Uh, Completely clean sheet. That'll be much more what he's looking for. Again, a little bit of thinking and balancing time there on that steep climb up onto these reels. Certainly seems from the outside to be uh, the more tricky part of this element. Although I have to say, that crossing there doesn't seem to be coming too straightforwardly either. Charm is doing well so far, no points. So looking good at the moment, Jarvis. Nice close up of the Scorpion machine. As you can see, these bikes really are stripped down to the bare minimum. Engine throttle and brakes, and uh, something to balance it with. Tiny tanks, of course. Use an awful lot of fuel. Nice run through by Jarvis then. Jarvis. Launching himself into uh, increasingly competitive position. Crowd getting behind him as well now. As I mentioned earlier, they do have six minutes maximum time to get through these five sections, and nobody has come anywhere close to using up that time. And they're all getting through three, three and a half minutes. Penalties, though, for Jarvis. Well, a penalty point, at least for having his foot down there. Steve Colley there, arms folded, watching it all going on. Checking out the scoring girl. Just to see how uh, his countryman is doing here. Different way through, but that works just as well. Didn't stop over the gap, just kept it going. Get that momentum up and uh, keep it going. So he ran through with one point, which puts him on to 11. So Graham Jarvis, 10 on round one, plus one. Bruno Camossi, 11 on round one, plus one on round two. So the first two going through very well indeed. Missed the first section last time round. 
came through it, of course, in the opposite direction. For Marcel Gestribo, second man we saw go through on the first leg. He was, in fact, the third man, but the second that we saw to go through. And the young Spaniard. Well, he had a good run, five points. And that was uh, all scored in the very difficult uh, steel slope zone, the IUS zone. Playing a nice stoppy just to keep the crowd on their feet. Here we go then. Zone two, the next production zone. He's not hanging around at all, is he? Let's see what he can do here. Five from the first run, very good indeed. Steve Colley, the leader on two. Christoph Camozzi, the first man we saw through on three. And this man was in third place after round one on five points. So in fact, we have completely missed out again. Uh, Gregory Erez, the 19-year-old Frenchman, who was in fourth place after the first round. It's a little bit of a shame. I haven't had a chance to see him in action. Would have uh, liked that opportunity. But let's follow Marcel Gestribo around. 21-year-old Spaniard, as I mentioned, also riding with uh, the team run by seven times, Charles World Champion Jorge Tarras. On a gas-gas machine, and this year his best results have been number two on the indoor at Saint-Denis, and took the number one spot indoors at Marseille to see if he can manage to produce the goods at Perry Bercy. OK, safely out of the next production zone. Like all the others, of course, this is his first visit to Romania and to uh, this inaugural indoors at Bucharest. And this really is the uh, trickiest zone of the lot, no question about it. Working hard for their money here. One point so far. Steve Colley, the current leader, helmeted up now, but still watching it all going on. Oh, and Jostribo is down. And he's going to take a five on that. Let's have a look here at this. Now, judge this for yourselves. Looks a fairly innocuous accident. Comes down, goes forward on the handlebars, and then down onto the steel. Well, takes five there. We'll be back with more in just a moment. So the final round of the indoor trial at Bucharest. This Winston one-off at least so far, in the capital of Romania. Well, this is the man who lies second after the first round. Christophe Camozzi from France. 24-year-old, only just, in fact, his birthday at the end of October. 24-year-old younger brother of Bruno. Rides for the Moto Beta team. And runner-up in the European Championship in 1997. Zone one then, these uh, welded steel pipes. Blue, they're painted. They look just like those uh, plastic drainage pipes they're putting in all over the place nowadays, updating drainage systems. But uh, in fact, they are just steel, and as a result, probably just as slippy. Well, 
Christoph Kamotzi had a very good run through. The first time, only three points, the leader until Steve Colley came along. Let's see what he can do this time. At the moment, Graham Jarvis and Bruno Camozzi, the best running through the course in this direction with just one point each. Camozzi definitely taking his time on this first part of the section. He really realizes the pressure is on. If he has a good run through here, then that will put the pressure doubly on Steve Colley. Colley leading by one point from this man after the first round. Let's have a look as he goes across the gap. Nicely done. Well controlled indeed, no problems with that. Oh, and a good run through. No, I would say he was definitely out of the zone there by the time he uh, put his foot down. Here we go. In the blue suit, it's his brother Bruno, incidentally, walking around the outside, just giving him help and advice. And Bruno had a good run through. He needed one, though, after his disastrous first round, two fails. Stop, not looking quite as composed this time. Let's see if he can fire out of here, all right. Yep, up the steps he goes. This one will be done in segments as well. Let's see, will we not then? Straight up. And straight out as well, no problems there. A little stoppy to turn it round. And around he comes. Bruno there again on hand. This IUS zone is the tricky one. Point there. This is going to be a tricky bit. Gets round and down under control. So a point, a small penalty to pay there. Brings him up to, to two. <coughs> Excuse me. Still only halfway through here. That's where Marcel Gestribo came to grief. Incidentally, Gestribo is seemingly innocuous. A uh, little fall there actually cost him a broken hand, and that must put into question his ability to participate at Bercy in a couple of weeks' time. And that Bercy indoor, of course, will be on Eurosport, as ever. Well, Christoph Camozzi, two points. 6.57 his time. And here is the man who led after round one. But by just one point. So he can't really afford to go more than two points here. Steve Colley. 
Christophe Komotsi putting together a very, very competent challenge indeed. Three points on round one, two on round two. He has a total of five. Steve Colley already on two, so from round one. So he needs really to clean this if he can. A little bit of traditional gypsy dance coming out. Oh, is that going to be a fail? It is. That's five. Christophe Kamotzi is going to be the winner. Steve Colley, a five there. Christophe Kamotzi only managed to only lost five points in two full rounds. So Steve Colley on seven now. And uh, well, next up behind him, Graham Jarvis on 11 and Bruno Kamotzi on 12. So conceivably, if he fails another section here, he could drop from the lead into. Uh, well, third equal. In fact, if he has a really dreadful round, who knows how far down he can go. Wouldn't want to uh, foresee that or wish that on him, of course, at all. Nicely through there. Well, the win is gone, but what else can he do? Let's have a look. So, Colley then, the 27-year-old Magsman. Victory snatched away from him there with that unfortunate little slip. Well, as ever, really has the crowd behind him. <laughs> really rising to the occasion here now, willing him to get through in second place. And our young lady with the scoring card, although she was turning it to the crowd rather than uh, to something the director's camera could pick up. Showing again, I think, uh, zero safely through on that one. So the zone IUS. This has been, for all of the riders, the difficult zone. A couple of uh, really unexpected slips, one by Steve Colley and one by Bruno Camozzi, in zones that otherwise they have found relatively easy. But this is the difficult one. Footing there, just to keep his balance, down the slope with a loss of one point. As our young lady shows, there it is. Oh, and again, that's two. Well, seven points so far for the rounds to add to two for round one. That brings him up to nine. Christoph Kamotzi on five from his combined two rounds. So Kamotzi comfortably in the lead. And Steve Colley goes through. Bruno Camozzi is the winner. So seven points for Steve Colley, and that drops him into second place. Christoph Camozzi winning the first ever 
Winston indoor trial at Bucharest in Romania. Steve Colley in second place from countryman Graham Jarvis. I'm Martin Haven. Bye for now.